Next news, Indian hate preacher Zakir Nayak charged with money laundering, and this is out of India, everybody. The Islamic preacher Zakir Nayak, who lives in exile, is accused of acquiring $28 million worth of criminal assets, a claim that he denies. Indian authorities also have accused him of spreading hate speech and inciting terrorism. Mr. Nayak, which I think he's a doctor, so um, we might want to change that. Uh, 53 promotes a radical form of Islam on the channel Peace TV. It is banned in India, but has estimated 200 million viewers worldwide. India's enforcement directorate, ED, um, which investigates financial crimes, filed the charge against Mr. Nayak in the court of Mumbai. I don't know if people know how famous this guy is. Like, the, the amount, the, the If audience... you've ever, ever, ever spoken to a Muslim on Facebook or Twitter... <laughs> At some point. They have sent you his videos. <laughs> well, Sunny <new> ones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, every, yeah, like, yeah, you're so, like... Every, at some point in the conversation when you're debating with a Muslim on, on your Facebook, you know, messenger, at some point when they give up on you and they don't they don't want to talk to you anymore, they just send you one of his videos like, just watch this, you will become a Muslim, right? After you watch this, you will understand everything. To me, that's it. Like, so that's how famous this guy is. I mean, the audience that this guy has, like some of our biggest politicians in you know in the west or in us for example like don't enjoy that level of um you know that big of an audience this guy when he speaks millions of people are listening to him and oh, to yeah. me it says a lot when a muslim when they give up on you like so some muslims just say like oh just read the quran but more people actually tell you to just watch this guy's videos instead of reading the Quran, right? To me, sure that shows how how popular this is, where their last attempt at converting you is not just sending you a Quran video, it's this guy, right? It's this guy. <laughs> but um, but okay. So what are the what are the um, what are the comments that India is accusing him of? Um, you know, terrorists. What is what? What did they say? What is he being charged for? Before, so the this money laundering charges are new, right? Right. He's but, also being charged of promoting religious hatred and unlawful activity. So, um, yeah, I mean, and, and he is not just banned in India, believe it or not. He's also banned in Bangladesh hmm. um, because some of his some of his speeches and videos that he's given, that he demands people go out and be terrorists. He says, yes, in the name of, of Allah, let's do this. Um, and that's actually somebody who was watching his videos in Bangladesh in 2016, killed 22 people in a cafe uh, and, and gave um, Dr. Nayak the credit for it, saying, you know, he moved me to do this. So um, he's banned in other countries as well. And obviously, if, if you watch a lot of his videos i do not um but you know a lot of people do say yeah he, his videos do incite hatred and since he's running this peace tv out of mumbai uh or is it dubai no yeah he's definitely he's broadcasting out of dubai um yeah. because he's broadcasting it out of india they're charging him for the hate speech right um I mean, you have to be careful what India calls hate speech because India mm. um, right now is in a situation where anything Islamic could be labeled as hate speech. I mean, technically, yeah. everything Islamic is hate speech, but but India, I mean, not legally, though. Um, but a lot of his stuff, I mean, he like he does he does uh, push for, for terroristic acts. Um, does he really? Wow. Yes. So how come he's in Malaysia right now, right? Um, no, he's in, he's in, uh, India, isn't he? No. He was in Malaysia. No, if he's in India, uh, he would have been arrested by now. He's not Right, in... right, he had to flee to Malaysia, right? Right. I think he's yeah. in Malaysia. Sopam is saying he's in Malaysia. Yeah. Um, but why is Malaysia not arresting this guy? Malaysia, you're supposed to be a moderate, non-terrorist, you know, supporting... Islamic Maybe people. money. Think of all the millions of dollars he's, uh... <laughs> No, I he's think supposedly he just, acquiring right now. I think he just has such a big influence in the Islamic world, in the Sunni Islamic world, that M Malaysia being an Islamic country, if they arrest this guy, there will be people in the f streets, I think. I think Malaysia might be scared of the influence that this guy has. 
But yeah. Sub Subham is saying that his preachings are banned in India, Bangladesh, Canada, and Britain. Okay, can why Canada? I mean, I don't agree with banning anyone's speech, to be honest. That's weird. I mean, Britain I expect because Britain has lost their mind over freedom of expression. But even the worst of speech, I mean, I don't know, this is, is he directly inciting violence? Yeah. Mm, okay. I have to look into this. Like, what do you know what the direct wording was? No. No. No, oh. I don't know the direct wording. Like I said, I I can't I can't yeah. watch a lot. Um, <laughs> He's funny though. His, his voice is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, go watch Video Wiz. He makes great impressions of this guy. Video oh. Wiz. Yeah. He's so funny. Uh, Sopam is saying yeah he's in Malaysia. Sopam is also saying he is banned in India. Uh, Malaysia isn't giving him up to Indian authorities for some reason. Well, I think that's my, my, my guess is Malaysia is not giving him to Indian authorities because, you know, there's a call out for my beheading in Malaysia, right? Uh, Malaysia, there are some really, so there are some, they have a Islamic extremist problem in Malaysia. And mm -hmm. I think that if the government there does decide to give this, give um, him up to Indian authorities, there might be some really, really angry people the government there has to deal with. So that's that might be the reason why they're not giving him up. Uh, what's the top comment? is saying chapter 7 verse 6 says he has got nothing to do with that. Oh, okay. Aww. No, people don't know what the... I, I don't know if people... <laughs> I don't know if people know what the, the joke here is because if people have to listen to Zakir Naik to know what it because every time, most of the time when he when he's talking, he always say chapter seven. I can't do access, okay? But just go listen to him. Like he's, <laughs> he just starts to say chapter seven, verse six of the Quran. So like he memorized the whole Quran and every time he just quotes the Quran. And but so yeah, if you want to read this joke properly, you have to say it in an accent. So I can't do that. I wish Valid was uh, from Vidu Viz was here. He would just go watch uh, Vidu Viz, his channel. Great impressions of him. You will understand this joke. Okay, I just ruined the joke by explaining it. Um, <laughs> so there's another top comment saying, "Challenge admin if you l if you listen to his lecture." Oh, oh, <laughs> look this. Ali, this is exactly what we said. That's one of the one of the comments on the post is a challenge to us, the admin, that if we listen to his lecture, we will too believe in a creator. This is yes. exactly this is exactly what we're saying. It's have it's right here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this this <laughs> proves that what we were telling you guys. Uh, so what's a, another top comment is saying? Where did this money come from? Brother asks a very good question. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so sad because a lot of these jokes will only make sense if you actually listen to, to this guy. But, um, okay. Um, brother asks a good question. <laughs> uh, all right. So let me see what other comments do we have. John is John Brown is saying if he's advocating violence against non-Muslims, then yes, he should be banned. I don't know. Should his videos be banned like i don't know man I'm, I'm really worried i don't like when government says that this i think he should just get arrested for for preaching violence but i don't know if his videos should get banned that's like really uh authoritarian in my view i mean i don't want any kind of expression to be i want to be on the side of you know allowing all comments out there even maybe he just should get arrested for expressing violence, like for advocating violence. But I don't think the, the videos should get banned. I don't. I, may, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm open to changing my mind on that. But I always try to be on the side of freedom of expression. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. 
With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.